Hello, I'm Glenn Harrison, and thanks for joining me for another Tai Chi talk. Today's topic is the effects of your internal condition on your Tai Chi and in your daily life. Whether you're feeling stressed, tense, relaxed, confused, focused, nervous, anxious, or whatever, it's all going to be uh, expressed through your outer movement uh, during your Tai Chi and everything else in life that you, that you do. Our mental state changes from day to day. Actually, it changes from moment to moment. And all of this has an effect on our behavior, whether we know it or not. <clears throat> Sometimes we talk about having good or bad Tai Chi practice days. But I'm sure if you will take a look at the type of day you've had in general, whether you've had a very tense and stressful time at work, uh, maybe um, some difficulties in relationships, arguments, or what all of this plays a role in how you express uh, everything throughout your daily life. And by having this understanding, we can we can start to control that. We can uh, start to get that under control and have uh, more productive Tai Chi practices, as well as a greater quality of life in general. Now, I'm sure everyone gets awesome benefits from doing their Tai Chi. Uh, if they didn't, um, I don't think they would be doing it, right? So, however, that doesn't mean we can't take a more active role in, in our development of who we are and add to those benefits that we get from Tai Chi. Because just practicing one or two hours a day, if that, which many people don't have, isn't going to give us everything we need to raise our, our level of Tai Chi practice and boost that quality of life that we, that we all wanna have. So with these thoughts in mind, here's just a few things we can do throughout the day, every day, to help us take greater control and nurture uh, our, our internal existence. Uh, sure, it's not going to be anything that you don't already know. However, uh, it's usually something that gets away from us as we live our lives. So the first suggestion I'm going to offer to everyone is, first of all, slow down your pace. Okay, if you have somewhere to be, you have to be to work, a meeting, or, or whatever, leave earlier. Give yourself leisure time. We're often too rushed. And what does that do? It gets our adrenaline going. It gets our heart pounding. We, get, uh, we start forgetting things. Um, any number of internal situations that are against what we're trying to do with our Tai Chi and are against the quality of life. We can eat slower and we can not try to accomplish everything in one day. Sure, we all have things we have to get done every day, but too often we try to get too many things done in a day. Budget out the things that you have to do to where they're not really stressful, okay? Sometimes we can spread things out throughout the week or maybe even throughout the month. Just make sure we're on top of the most important things, but don't try to get everything done at one time. Don't look at the world as something to be conquered, but rather look at it more as something to be experienced. And I think that that will definitely uh, change the stress level in your life. Everyone wants to get ahead in life, financially and, and, and in every way. However, when that becomes your sole focus, it becomes unbalanced and you become obsessed with doing what it takes to get ahead. You never stop to experience the world and to enjoy the world and the things that are around you. So try to create some balance in that area and, and don't try to just conquer everything and just moving forward with reckless abandon, okay? Experience the things around you and enjoy them. Don't be so critical and judgmental of others. This creates disharmony inside of yourself. Uh, it's, there's no need to look at what other people are doing, no matter what it is, unless they're 
hurting someone or something you can do about it. But just to make disparaging comments about others, you're actually doing more damage, internal damage to yourself, okay? And you're setting the stage uh, for disharmony inside of yourself. So if you don't agree with someone, with what someone else is doing, maybe they're doing Tai Chi different than you're doing and you don't agree with it and you don't think it's the best way to do it, you don't have to disparage them. Go on with your practice. Go on with what you believe in and make the, make the best out of that. So move towards being a better person and don't look at as, as being so judgmental on what someone else is doing. Be deliberate in your thoughts and in your actions. Being wishy-washy on the inside, not being able to make up your mind or come to a decision leads to wishy-washy actions. Don't be indecisive. Think about what you need to do, have a solid plan, and do it. Because we can't be right 100% of the time. We can only make the best decision that we can with the information that we have at the moment. So being wishy-washy, it, it really throws us off internally, which throws us off externally, and we get into this vicious cycle because then we get upset about, why did I make that decision? It came out bad, or it's not working out the way that I, I wanted to, et cetera. So just make a decision based on the information you have. Don't be wishy-washy and follow through with it. Mistakes are how we learn. If you never make a mistake, you never learn. And failure is the building blocks to success. Keep those things in mind and don't be so judgmental and harsh on yourself. And mentally speaking, try to be 100% where you are at the moment. Don't always focus on where you just came from or what happened to you earlier in the day and things went wrong at work or somebody angered you and you're still carrying the past around with you. Nor should you be anxious about the future, about the test that you have tomorrow or, or work tomorrow is gonna to be a rough day or any number, of, any number of things. Just try to be fully in the moment and experience that. Settle your tea leaves, right? If you keep stirring a pot of tea, the leaves are just swirling around and that's your your, your energy, your chi, your focus and everything is always just in a whirlwind. Just relax, be in the moment, let those leaves settle and live in the moment. And you will definitely enhance your Tai Chi and your quality of life. So thanks for joining me again for another Tai Chi talk. We'll see you next time.